The festival of Makar Sankranti brings plenty of delicacies to binge on and Pina Chikki definitely stands out. Hi guys, this is Ruchi Bharani and welcome to Rajshree Food, your ultimate destination for 100% vegetarian recipes. Let's bite on to light and crunchy peanut chickies. So the first step is to roast the peanuts. So I have 150 grams of peanuts here. Let's turn on the pan and into this I'm going to add in the peanuts. Keep roasting on this on low heat. Don't be in a hurry because they're going to turn brown and not cook all the way through. Keep stirring on them at all time. The peanuts are nicely roasted. The skin is darkened as well. Now I'm going to remove it on this plate to cool them down and de-skin them. Once the peanuts cool down slightly and you're able to touch them, just rub against them and remove the skin. The peanuts are de-skinned and what I'm going to do is just de-husk this and get back to you. The next step, I'm going to use a steel bowl to split these peanuts and also break them down into slightly smaller pieces. So just press on them don't use the grinder to do this. This is done and as you can see, there are some small bits and some of them are whole which is fine. Now in a pan, I'm going to melt some jaggery. So I'm going to take 150 grams that is the same quantity as the peanuts and melt it. Make sure you chop up the jaggery finely so that it melts quickly. Let's turn on the flame. So the jaggery that I'm using is called chicky good. So preferably try and get the chicky good, otherwise regular jaggery is fine too. Into this, I'm also going to add in 2 teaspoons of water, not more than that. And keep stirring on this, reduce the flame and melt the jaggery. Once the jaggery has completely melted, make sure you cook it on low flame for 4-5 to five minutes and then we'll start testing it. So 5 minutes of slow stirring on low heat is done and now I'm going to start testing it. So the way to test this is just drop one drop of jaggery into water and if it crystallizes immediately, that means it's done. Just remove that from the water and if you feel you can press on it and it's still gooey, that means it's not done. This is still gooey, I think I need a couple more minutes. Let's test this again. Yeah, it's quite brittle and it's breaking when I'm pressing my nail into it. And when you drop it on the board, it should make a noise. This is ready. And now into this, I'm going to add in one teaspoon of ghee. Also what I'm going to do is add two drops of lemon. Lemon basically avoids any kind of crystallization to happen. This is done. And now quickly, let's add in the peanuts. Of course, peanut chikki is not the only treat that you would want to enjoy during Makar Sankranti. For another recipe of Til Papadi, do check the link in the description box below. Give it a quick stir. At this point, work on it really quickly. Before you remove this mixture on your rolling board, make sure you apply a little bit of ghee over the board as well as on the rolling pin. You can even roll over butter paper or some plastic sheet. And now let's get this mixture out.
I have a sheet of butter paper that I've also greased with some ghee and I'm going to keep the ghee side over the chikki and start rolling this. At this point, work very quickly. After you finish rolling this, just peel off the butter paper very carefully. You can even use a knife to peel it off if it's sticking at some parts. And while it's hot, make sure you make the cuts. Let this cool down completely now. While these chickies are getting prepared, you stay tuned till the end for the shout out segment. This has completely cooled down and now let's separate it out from the board. It has to be a perfect brittle. As you can see, it's perfect. Once you loosen it out, remove the pieces. As you can see, I've separated all the pieces of the chikki and now I'm going to store them in a jar. So you can store these for at least a good 15 to 20 days in an airtight container. Make sure there is no contact of moisture and they last very well. Taste right with every bite of this crunchy peanut chikki. Do try this at home. Till then, cook lovingly and eat wholeheartedly. See you soon. Bye-bye. I love to munch on these chickies while I'm traveling. Do let me know what your favorite munchie is while traveling in the comment section below.